Hi, this is Jim Sinesco for AFC International, and uh, we just got our Integra in just for the day or two to show you. We don't have them in stock yet, but I do want to kind of give you some features and benefits of the Integra. This is the, uh, the Integra is a half-face respirator uh, mask with intracol goggles, safety glasses, Z87 impact resistant goggles made by the GVS company. The GVS is uh, pretty much well known for making filters for many other companies and their masks uh, for respiratory protection, for air purifying respiratory that is. Um, they also make high efficiency HEPA filters for vacuums, HVAC, so they're in the filtering business. So uh, they came out uh, into the safety products respiratory protection category maybe several years ago, a couple of years ago. But anyway, um, since we have the Integra in just for a short time, and we're hoping to have a bunch come in uh, and have them in stock sometime this month, I wanted to do a real quick brief overview a little to give you an idea of what this mask can do. So probably going to just see the mask in my hands, if that's okay. But uh, the mask has two P100 high efficiency filters. Those are replaceable. Um, I'll show you how to take out, take the uh, filters out in a little bit here, but you have an exhalation valve here. You'll be breathing through these two filters on the side. And of course you have eye protection with that Z87 safety glass here as well. Um, on the inside you will see it is a traditional half face respirator. So you're getting sealing really right here. This is where you're going to want that sealing edge. And that's what's going to create the negative pressure. So when you breathe in, through these filters, these little inlet valves right here are going to open up and allow you to breathe in. That creates that negative pressure. Why do we fit test on these? Well, I've got the, the backside shown to you. Why do we fit test? Well, because when we create that negative pressure, we want to make sure that the sealing edge is tight on your face so that it forces the air that you're breathing from out here in through these filters, right? If we didn't have a good sealing edge here, it could come around and go through and bypass the, the filters. We've done videos on that, path of least resistance stuff, so now you know a little bit about that. So it's really critical when you do go to a half and a full face mask, and even your disposable N95 and P100s, to be fit tested if possible. Now with the pandemic and everything, it's really difficult to get everybody fit tested, but um, do the best you can. So once we get this thing kind of slows down a little bit, Maybe you've been issued some masks and maybe you haven't had a fit test, proper fit test. Maybe you start to think maybe we should go ahead and do a fit test. So, but anyway, that's the importance. But anyway, the Integra has this nice half face here and then your goggles. Your goggles have a, its own sealing edge here and there's little vent holes to avoid fogging. So again, the sealing edge is created for respiratory protection through right here. The goggles basically just go up against your, your forehead and just so you're comfortable and that does breathe a little bit so you'll be able to get some air coming through there but it's going to be protected for the most part all right you've got a top head strap a really nice head strap for the top and on the bottom you've got a nice wide strong um, uh, strap on the back around your neck to tighten those you're just going to go ahead and pull straight back and that goes go go ahead goes ahead and, and, and tighten it to your back of your head and to your face to make a nice uh, sealing edge. To release, you're just gonna pull back on this little tab here and pull the opposite direction. Now the reason we're doing this video, we had a lot of questions like, what is this Integra compared to the Ellipse uh, other half face mask? Well, the Ellipse is basically this portion down here without these goggles and safety glasses. So really, it's the same mask, uses the same filters, it's just that the Integra incorporates or integrates the face, uh, face shield and eye protection. Okay, how do we get these these excellent? Uh, how do we get these uh, filters changed out? That'd be a, the first question. Well, you'll see these little white little bayonet fittings on the side here. You'll access those through a little tab on the inside. All we're going to do, I'm trying to get these straps out of the way, is quarter turn and pull through and you get the tab. You go on the other side, quarter turn, pull out. At that point, we can just go ahead and pull off the whole bottom assembly. Now you can notice that that bottom assembly uh, and the, the retainers for the, the filters, 
has the strap part as well, the neck strap. At that point, I can just go ahead and peel back and pull out those filters. And this is a P100 filter, and you can see all the different folds in there. Now, purple means P100, high efficiency uh, filters for that's your highest protection we have for particulates. And then you'll also see the inlet valve that opens up when you breathe in. And then when you exhale, it closes off and it, your exhale breath goes through this front valve up here. That one closes when you in, inhale and opens when you exhale. So that's how you escape your ex exhaust breath. It's going to be through that part. And it's got a top and a bottom and you'll see a left and a right icon on those on the mask itself. And these are your filters. If I was going to go ahead and wash this, I could go ahead and submerge this whole thing right now in water, in sanitizing solution, um, or you could use uh, dishwasher soap, get a nice hot temperature, not too much scalding, but a nice hot temperature, kills those uh, viruses, clean, clean it off really nice, then, then rinse it, and you're all set to go back to it again. So I'll go ahead and, and repeat the steps. I'm just going to go ahead and put that filter in like so. It's not real difficult to do. You do it a couple times. You just want to make sure that these filters are in nice and tight and all is good. I'm going to go ahead and take my retaining clip. I want to make sure I don't have it backwards. Push it on. This can go over the top here. And all I have to do is line up the little hole, take my bayonet fitting, the white bayonet fitting, push it through the mask opening here, the little hole, and I don't know if you can see this, I'll come in close, do a quarter turn. Here you go. Locks it in place. I'll do the other one. Bayonet fitting through the inside of the mask. Comes all the way through. Make sure you open up that bayonet. It can only go in one way. You turn it, locks it in place. And now I've got my filters back in place. Uh, one thing when you do put this mask on, you'll want to do a negative pressure test. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to open up the straps. Whoops, I go a little too far there. Uh, that will happen to you. So just go ahead and reinsert the strap through the buckle. Okay, so what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to go ahead and put this mask on, put my neck over my face, put the mask up to my face. I'm going to go ahead and tighten these first. Then I'm going to go and readjust. You can see it's underneath my chin. I'm going to go ahead and pull straight back until it's snug. And you always want to do this when you get a chance. You want to go ahead and cover your inlets, if you can, and breathe in. That mask should collapse on your face. Yep, I feel the sensation that it's sucking in. That's that negative pressure I was talking about. I'll do it again. Yep, I got that good, good suction going on. I know I'm, I'm, I'm tight all the way around, and that sh should do it for you. So when you do put your mask on, make sure you do that check in the fit. You can also try to block off your exhalation valve and blow outward. It shouldn't allow you to blow up, and the mask should puff up a little on your face. If you feel leakage going on, that means you got a, a bad seal, right? So I'm going to go ahead and do that again. I'm going to block the, the exit port. I can't do it. And that's what you want to do. It's really important. So either a negative or a positive check when you put your mask on is an important thing. So this Integra actually is kind of neat. You notice I wear safety glasses and I wear regular glasses too. So um, if you have contacts, it's going to be perfect for you. Right now they do not have an optics kit yet. I've heard, been told that there's coming down the line maybe a couple of months from now. So you'll actually have a, an actual optics kit you can put inside her if you absolutely have to use glasses. 
Um, if not, you can use contacts because we're not, this is not like an SCBA or self-contained breathing apparatus. We're not blowing air in or creating positive pressure, so there'll be no risk for you to lose your contact. It's just be like walking around like normal. So um, anyway, Integra, really cool, really interesting uh, product. This is a medium large. There's a small medium as well. Call us, we can give you uh, ideas of what the sizing you're gonna need for that. Um, and I know this is kind of right now, we're talking about that pandemic and all the craziness with the flu and the virus. Once things get normalized, this is gonna be a really great product for general industry as well, right? This is the main thrust for this, welding silica dust you got welding fumes silica dust you got asbestos concerns fine dust mold mold spores radionuclides this is a p100 filter hepa so once the, all this go gets back to normal you're going to see a lot of people using these for for industry and again we can do the fit testing for you for industry we have to do fit testing it is a, a considered a respirator so you have to be fit tested you have to have a pulmonary function test and a couple of other medical checks that you should have in the industry when you're using it for industrial. For now, for the for the flu and the virus, make sure you do some of the things I show you how to do it. Wash it, keep it clean, keep it isolated. How often should you change those filters? Manufacturers recommending every 30 days, but if you start to feel those filters are loading up and you're having a hard time breathing through them, that's pretty much what we do in the industry. Uh, you would then dispose of them. Uh, for the flu virus, it's going to be really difficult, and you want to make sure if you do feel like you've been contaminated and you contaminated your filters, you don't want to be mixing and touching. Same thing would apply with hands and touching things. Now, you notice the filters underneath this grate, too. So even if that filter is attracting and holding that virus, I can't actually make contact because the grate is actually larger. So you want to make sure. Just be smart. Use your head. Uh, if you have any questions, give us a call at AFC International. 800-952-3293. Uh, anybody here can help you. Uh, I'm sure you'll have questions. And again, a delivery on these sometime this month is what we're looking for. So give us a call. Be safe. See you soon.